You fell really nicely. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't stop. You were like, I know I'm going to fall, so I'm going to go. <laughs> no, um, yeah, Micah says you just have to go with it. Like, he got fully run over by a motorcycle at his last race, and he's like, I'm just going with it. Because if you fight it, that's when you get hurt. So, I mean, the bike was running over him, and the chain is right here. And I, all I did was break his wrist. So I was trying not to fall on him, but not me. Oh, you did good. That was okay. We have it on film. Everything's documented. Good. Nice. Good. See how she stopped? Binge, binge, binge. It's the teeter. Oh. He is a little stressed on the start line. I want to talk about the start line stress. She made that little sound with her foot, and the yeah. dog kind of turned its head. And she, that's oh, that was good. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, you took your eye off your dog, and you lost your way on the course. I did. You still have a minute and a half. Um, and she also slowed her footwork. She continued moving. She sucked out to that turn, but her mm -hmm. feet got smaller and closer together, right? Like when I was doing circles with zero. Change its acceleration and deceleration. Tell your dog about tightness of turns and what the line is. That's nice. Just remind him he's staying after you feed him. Peter Attic. You're done? What happened? He, I don't know if it's. He's got major ADD. Um, then just go run. That so, last piece. Okay. No, put him in the tunnel. Okay. Dusty. Put him in the tunnel and run straight out those three jumps as fast as you can. Yes, and then just run out those three jumps. Call him. Banjo, banjo, let's go. Banjo! Where's your fucking booty? He's getting dead, so. Alright, he can go in. Alright, you guys, put him down.